You know, it's always puzzled me. Why, when we say, jinx, do you have to owe the person a soda? Simple, my friend. It's a magical spell that turns thirst into friendship debt. Soda is the universal currency of break-in that spell. Brilliant. I should start using it to refill my fridge. Jinx. Looks like I owe you seven sodas, mate. Soldier Boy did the she make it clap challenge. What's next? He make it snow challenge. Well, perhaps he's just trying to give the polar bear some competition. Susie, did you hear what Iggy Azalea said? She's so fancy, you can't touch this girl. Well, Sonic, maybe she should have focused on building a sturdy but instead of a house of pain. Lord Farquaad, have you noticed that England is trying to shut down TikTok instead of YouTube? Maybe because it's bigger? Ah, uh, Mark, size does matter. But perhaps England just wants to avoid a TikTok catastrophe with those addictive dance challenges. Chicken, why do you think Gully Bop burns so many bridges that he has none to walk on now? Well, Shrek, it seems like he thought he was playing Donkey Kong, but ended up playing Chicken Crossing instead. Huh. Looks like he scrambled his chances and laid a rotten egg there, didn't he? Absolutely. He's got more feathers ruffled than in a coop full of angry hens. If we were in the Adventure Time world, Tina, who would you want to be? Finn the human or Jake the dog? Well, Lord Farquaad, as much as I love dogs, I think I'd have to go with Finn the human. I mean, he gets to go on all those epic adventures and slay monsters. Plus, he's got pretty nice hair. Ah, but Jake the dog can shapeshift and stretch his body. Think of the possibilities, Tina. He could be a doggy bungee cord or even a human-sized blanket. Endless fun. Hmm, you make a compelling case, Lord Farquaad. But I guess I'll stick with Finn. After all, he's got that whole saving the world thing going for him. Noob, you won't believe what just happened. I was eating bun and cheese and gave my sister a piece, then I went to get my juice and I heard a crash landing sound. She fell halfway near my bun and cheese, foot stuck in the grill. Dude, talk about a cheesy landing. Your sister sure knows how to make an entrance. But let's be honest, that's not the grilled cheese sandwich you were hoping for. Remember when we were kids, Gorilla? We used to love putting the cork in the bottle and slapping it on our knee. It shot out like a bullet. Ah, those were the wild and quirky days, Dora. Can we swipe right on that memory? You know, when I used to drink before I ate, my grandmother would slap me on my wrist. That's why I stopped going there. Whoa, your grandmother had a strong anti-alcohol wrist-slapping policy, huh? Oh, you have no idea. She was like the grandma police, keeping me in line with her wrist-slapping ways. Well, she definitely knew how to enforce table manners with a twist. I bet Sunday lunches were wild at your place. Bonnie, have you ever wondered why characters in white scary movies always go towards the sound instead of running away? I know, right? It's like they're begging to become ghost food. Ghost Uber Eats, delivering scares right to your doorstep. Seriously, Ned, they should take a class on Logic 101, Surviving Spooky Situations. Or maybe just invest in some running shoes. Gotta outrun those jump scares.